Hey guys, Andrew here from Aloha Quails. Today we're gonna to take a look at our water cups. So I've been using this water cup system now for quite a while, and one of the common questions that I see when I talk about it is, how do you get your quails to start using it? Especially if you're going for chicks, through to larger quails, or even for quails that have never been on this before and you wanna transition over. So I've been using these water cups now for quite some time. Um, I like them a lot because they feed off a five gallon bucket. It's just all plumbed in to multiple levels of my cages. And as you can see, the chicks and the quails, they love eating from them. So one of the big things that I see people asking is how do I get my birds to start using them? So whether that's moving from chicks, um, moving them outside into an aviary, or whether it's older birds that you want to transition over to using the system, people are always worried, like, will my birds know how to use this? And how do I get them to start using it? I've seen all sorts of suggestions, um, some of them really crazy, um, like using a laser pointer to try and divert the bird's attention to it to get them to peck at it and then they learn. Um, other ones, like I'm going to show you, are the ones that really do work. This is the way that I do it and it's worked for me every single time. I've not lost a single bird to dehydration. Okay guys, so these are the water cups that I like to use. It's the orange ones with the little yellow flapper inside. The little yellow flapper releases the water into the cup. Um, sometimes there'll be a little bit of water in the bottom other times there won't be. The quails will very, very quickly work out that putting their head in there will give them water. So the way that you teach quails to use these is real, real simple. When you introduce new birds to them or chicks to them, um, for the first day or so, what you want to do a few times is just hold the flapper down, fill it with water, and the quail will drink from that. As they drink it and it gets lower, they'll notice that if they hit the yellow thing, more water comes out. So for a day or so, you want to make sure that you uh, give them water, um, no other water source. So you want to make sure that you don't put a bowl of water in there or any other water um, mechanism. You only want to use these. You need to cut them off completely from all other water. Don't worry, they will be drinking. Do not worry about them. They'll be fine. Okay, so after a day or so of filling it for them, uh, you want to do it maybe three or four times in that first day. Um, leave them alone. So do it for the first day then leave them alone for at least two days. Do not fill it with water. Um, they will work this out on their own. If you fill it with water, it will slow down the learning process. So what you do is you leave it alone for two days and then just to check to make sure that they've worked it out. After two days, you come out to it, you hold down the yellow flapper again and fill it with water. If one or two quail come over and they drink from it, that's fine. Um, you know, they're just curious. It's easy water, it's right there. If you get all of your quail, you know, if you have 10 in there and eight of them come over, then you might need to worry about it and try to work it out whether it's uh, a problem with the water system not giving water, the valve is stuck or something like that. Um, you know, that would be the only things I can think of. The quail, they get this stuff really, really quickly. Um, I've never had quail not get it in the first couple of days. You know, so as I said, these things are real, real simple. Uh, let me show you on this one. So for the first day, all you do is you hold this down and you'll see it fill with water. And you want to fill every cup that you're using in your line with water. Let them drink that down. As they drink it down, they'll activate the yellow thing. They'll work out that's where water comes from. So you see these guys, I just filled it with water. They're coming over, not because they're thirsty, but because they just want to see what's going on and, and mess with it. So if every bird came over, um, I think I have like 12 birds in this cage right now. If every one of them came over, I think maybe there's a problem with my water supply. Um, but if it's just a couple like this, it's absolutely fine. Um, so that's how you get them to drink. You just basically put them only on this, fill it with water for the first day, let them go for two days, then check to make sure that they're getting water. Um, it's real, real simple. Uh, once you switch over to these systems, um, you'll be thanking me and thanking yourself and wondering why you never did it sooner. Okay guys, this has been Andrew from Aloha Quails. This is how to get your chicks to drink from automatic waterers. Um, don't forget to see my video on how I built this system so you guys can learn how I did it. Um, I like to do it just a little bit different and make it easy to clean and easy to take apart and maintain. Um, that video will show up here. And if you guys have any questions, don't forget to throw them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, and once again, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing is important. It's how we get higher in the YouTube uh, algorithm, and it's how you guys get to see our videos more often.